Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber, coming back at you with another beer. This is Muckraker. It is their rewilding. It is an India Pale Ale dry hopped in wine. India Pale Ale, India Pale Ale dry hopped in wine barrels with Alsatian hops. 7.5% alcohol by volume. Yeah. This bottle is, I don't know if, they don't do dates or anything on their bottles. So. <clears throat> but I know I had a bottle of this probably almost a year ago, like eight months ago. And I think that was a few months after they released it. So this bottle may be right around a year old. When I had it, I really enjoyed it. And so I got another bottle and then now I'm drinking it. Oh, you hear that? Super nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice bright yellow. Uh, nope. It is clear. Uh, finger of white head. Mostly tiny, 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 tiny bubbles. A couple slightly bigger bubbles in there, but yeah. It's more of a darker yellow, uh, but, but it is yellow. Shall we see what it smells like? I should say uh, the last time I had it was probably four, probably almost six months ago was when I had it. So. so let's get into it. There's like a citrusy green apple kind of thing. Maybe a little bit of like, not black pepper, but maybe white pepper or, or uh, one of the green or uh, pink or other kind of peppers. I'm not up on my peppers. Um, there is this thing that reminds me of, I think, I think it was a bag of frozen fruit that came with like these little scoops of like watermelon and they were, they came in like little balls and I'm getting those kinds of things. So I'll say a little bit of mel, a little bit of like frozen watermelon. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of melon, um, stone fruit for sure. I don't know if I would, uh, I'll, I'll go generic stone fruit. It smells really good. Like really, really good. Like so like so good. Let's see what tastes like. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 
bit more tart in the uh, taste, but you do get that kind of green apple pepper thing. Um, I don't know why I keep putting it down. I'll just... It's not really <clears throat> like in the uh, aroma, there's more of that like frozen fruit. Yeah, because it, it had balls of watermelon and it there were grapes in it. And I don't I don't remember what else. I just remember it. It's like one of the things I remember from uh remember uh from when i was a kid um and you kind of get that frozen like it's not texture but like it's like i don't know how to describe it it's it's like it's it's not coming across like watermelon or grape or anything like that but but it's reminding me of that frozen fruit kind of thing And I don't know if that was a specific brand or or what. I, I don't even, I don't remember it really at all. Other than I remember like frozen balls of melon and grapes, and I think there were other things in it. But. You do get a, um, kind of like a farmhousey kind of, um, straw hay kind of thing. And I'm surprised this is this cold. It was only in the fridge for a couple hours. Yeah, getting a little more of that stray, uh, stray, uh, straw hay thing in the aroma now. There is this. There is this thing in there that, like it's not super dry. There is a little bit of dryness in there, but um, the wine character in this, I think it, it's just enough to like lend itself to, to the beer. Because it's not huge. Like it's not huge, but it's like throughout the beer. Um, actually, <clears throat> now that. Uh, it may have deceived me a little bit. Some of that wine, I may have mistaken. Some of the wine, uh, wine characteristic and the wine barrel may have been deceiving me as being part of the beer instead of being the wine barrel. Hmm.
Man, this beer is so good. This is one of my favorite. Uh, this is one of my favorite Muckraker beers. And this wasn't even a beer that I got at the brewery uh, when Katie and I lived in Hackettstown, um, th which is where I got this bottle. Uh, or no, actually, I did not get this bottle from Hackettstown. I got this bottle from Tom because I got a bottle of this from that uh, the liquor store that we lived right by in Hackettstown. And then the next time I went to Muckraker, I asked Tom if he had any bottles left because I had bought the last bottle of this from that store. And I was like, it's, it's awesome beer and I want more of it. And he was like, yeah, I got more of it. And I got a bottle from him. So not only does Tom make great beer, but he's also a generous person. I did pay for it. He didn't just give it to me, but yeah. He could have just been like, no, I don't have any more. Yeah. There's like this juiciness to it. <sighs> That's so good. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. Um, those, as I said, the, uh, that tartness, it, the tartness and the like acidity makes me want to say that there's like some sort of citrus in here as well, but like, yeah. Um, and I'm not, I am not familiar at all with Alsatian hops. So, so I don't know if, those are the ones giving me those frozen fruit vibes. Or if that's the wine and wine barrels. Yeah, this beer is so good. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a cork in this and, uh, oh shit. I don't think I have any corks left. I have corks in a few bottles now. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to save some of this for uh, Katie when she gets home. Because I think she would enjoy this much. She's not really a big wine person and she's not really a big IPA person. But neither am I. And this is... So good. So, so good. Yeah. Yeah. There's not much more I can say about it. So yeah. I hope you're all doing well out there. Take care of yourselves, taking care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. You can subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. That's spelled out 93lumber. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.